Hello, everybody. This is a special little mini podcast. I usually do these desk side talk things, which is kind of what this is, but it's going to be a little bit more selfish this time than normal. Instead of talking what I've been playing, well, I'll talk a little bit about it. I've been playing mostly a game called Carthage, which I will have a review of up next week on uh, hopefully next Monday. It's a little uh, deck builder game, gladiatorial combat deck builder. Really simple. I need to play with more players. I think it'll get better with more players and with some of the more complex optional modules that come with the game. So far, it seemed a little simple and it doesn't have quite enough deck building that I would like. It tends to be over pretty quickly without actually building up your deck a lot, but I got to play it a bit more. You'll see that on Monday. But the main thing I want to talk about in this short podcast is a Patreon update for the Thoughtful Gamer. As you probably know, uh, we run a Patreon to cover the costs for the Thoughtful Gamer. And at this point, we're sitting at, I believe, $78 a month, which is basically enough to cover our basic costs. So that covers the cost of the website hosting, the podcast hosting, my Adobe video editing software, and other miscellaneous costs that I have kind of recurring for the thoughtful gamer. And that's fine. But ultimately, my goal here isn't just to kind of cover costs. I do want to improve the thoughtful gamer, but also make some money off of it. This is something I've been very fortunate and blessed to be able to pursue over the last year and a half almost by now. But the end goal is always, okay, I want to see if I can actually make a living in the board game world. And there are people who have done that, not very many, but I want to get there. I knew it would always be kind of a slow progression, a slow road. I'm not one who's very good at marketing. I'm not good at social media. And I want to do things that don't necessarily bring in a lot of money. I could do a lot of how to play videos, a lot of previews and really focus on the video production, but I'd rather take the time to do really good game reviews and really thoughtful game reviews and stuff like that. So I think Patreon is the best model in terms of trying to make some money off of this project. This kind of podcast, this kind of talking is always kind of awkward and I feel immensely awkward whenever I mention the Patreon or any kind of thing associated with asking for money. But my solution to that is just going to be pretending that it's not awkward and going ahead. So in an effort to not only help the thoughtful gamer more and try to bring in more money to help me do what I do better and do more exciting, fun things, but also with the end goal in mind, And I don't want to hide this, that I do want to actually make some money off of the Thoughtful Gamer. I'm making some changes to the Patreon that I think people get really excited about. Before I get into the specifics, I do want to talk about how it is kind of weird. If you don't do this kind of thing where you just make stuff for the internet, it's a very unusual situation to be in because you spend a lot of time by yourself working on something trying to make it as good as you can and as intelligent as you can or funny or whatever you're trying to do. And then you kind of just throw it out into the void. And it's very hard to gauge how much people like that. At a certain point, you get up enough of an audience, I think, where you understand that, yeah, a lot of people are enjoying this or find it useful. But When you're small, it's very difficult to understand if people are actually getting any value out of it. So I'm going to be talking a lot about money, but I will say if you can't afford to help people financially with their Patreon or their fundraiser or whatever, you can always send them a note, you know, send them an email or a private message on Facebook or Twitter, or even a public one, and, and just tell them, you know, I thought this thing you did was really awesome. I thought it was really interesting. I love when I get new patrons, patrons, but I equally love when I hear from someone like, hey, your review of this game made me buy this game. Like, it, it, it encouraged me to buy it. And I'm having a lot of fun with it now. Those kind of messages are amazing. When people share something on social media that you've done, that feels so good. So if you're thinking, I, I really can't afford a, a Patreon to, to, to contribute to someone on Patreon, and I'm not saying necessarily me, but whoever you think deserves support, 
like if you can't afford it financially, anything on social media really, really feels great to the person creating that thing. Like it, it, it's pretty amazing how awesome it feels when I, when I see something on social media like that. But let's talk about the financials. So I think Patreon's an awesome system. We've t- I've talked a lot about how people who review games or review anything shouldn't be contrib- shouldn't be financially compensated by the publisher because that's a conflict of interest. Because I'm looking to help out people who are consumers who are in the market for perhaps purchasing games. I focus my reviews on them, but also that means. They're the ones who are gaining value from this. And if you think that you're gaining value from the Thoughtful Gamer, I would encourage you to consider helping out with the Patreon. That being said, I want people who support the Patreon to feel like they're getting something out of it other than just a feeling of, hey, I'm helping this person out. I think, honestly, it's a great value. There's a lot of good stuff, especially with the changes I'm making here, that I think people will feel like they're getting value out of this. So here are the changes. Well, let me just go over everything. So the basic thing, if you support the Thoughtful Gamer Patreon, is that you will get access to our private Discord channel, where we have discussions every day about board games, what we're playing, what we find interesting, uh, what games we like, we dislike, on top of other random stuff, movies or video games or whatever we're we're, uh, playing or, or find interesting. We have a really nice little community going on there. You also get access to the live stream of all of our main podcast recordings where you can talk with us and uh, make funny comments and all that good stuff. And also just get the podcast before everyone else. You also get access to our game spreadsheet. So my game group, uh, all the games we own, I've maintained this giant spreadsheet with all of our different ratings for the games and random statistics. So if you're a stat nerd like me, you might find that interesting. And then also you'll know what my ratings are for games that uh, I haven't officially reviewed yet. That's at the basic level, starting at $2 a month. At $5 a month, you also get access to basically my work folder to look at that. So you can see reviews in progress, what I've been working on, articles I have written that I haven't finished yet, articles I've outlined, all that good stuff. And then at the at the big level, the producer level, at $20 a month, you get all that stuff. And also you get a produce by credit on all Thoughtful Gamer videos, which there will be more of as the months progress. And then at six months at that level, you can pitch some kind of collaboration with me in terms of playing a game on stream or having a podcast that you talking about something that you really want to talk about, whatever you want to do, you can pitch that to me. So that's what the, that's what we have right now. I'm going to be adding a couple things to those levels. There are two things that we're adding to all levels. So $2 and up. The first thing is that I'm going to do a monthly newsletter where I will just tell you my thoughts on whatever I've done that month in terms of mostly probably movies and books, maybe some video games that I've played. If I have the time to play some video games, uh, you may know that in a past life, I wanted to be a movie critic. I considered it for a while. So I enjoy writing film reviews and I see, I try to see some of the more important movies that come out each month. So there'll be a lot of uh, discussion about movies there, but I'm also been reading a lot of sci-fi and, fantasy books lately, getting back into reading fiction. And I'll talk about those as well. Again, just whatever I've found interesting in the, in the last month, you'll get a newsletter exclusive to supporters once a month on that. The second thing that will be added on all levels is first access to my sale list of games. So the games that I no longer want to keep, if you want them, we'll do some kind of tiered system of claiming so the people at the highest levels will get very first access and then it'll roll down to the five dollar a month supporters and then the two dollar a month supporters but i'll just update that list whenever i add games to it and i'll let you all know and what will happen is if you want that game i will send it to you you just have to pay the cost of shipping so free otherwise just the cost of shipping i'm adding at the five dollar and up level a what I'm calling designer diary early access. So as you might know, I'm working more concretely on designing 
some games and basically I'll send you guys a post on Patreon. Whenever I make some changes there, my thought process really loosely, just kind of not an official di designer diary, but first access to what kind of changes I've made and why I'm trying something out with one of my designs. So you'll get first access to that kind of information. What I think are some of the most exciting things I'm adding to the Patreon are the goals. So I'm going to be adding three goals to replace what I have now, which isn't much of anything. As I said before, we're at $78 a month right now. At $100 a month, that will help fund a small equipment upgrade for me, probably with audio. I probably, I'm, I'll look into lapel mics. I definitely want to get a mixing board, a physical one, where I can better control audio levels and just control things better when we're doing podcasts and when we're doing live streams and stuff like that. That's how it will help me once I get to that level. The reward for all the supporters is that it will unlock quarterly giveaways. And so I'm going to do, as soon as we hit that, starting the next month, I will give away a, a game. And what will happen is that it's going to be giveaways for games that I've enjoyed that quarter. So it might be older games. It might be some new releases if I really like some, but I'll probably line up two or three options in case, you know, I don't want to give someone a game they already own, but it's going to be games that I really, really enjoy. It's not going to be me soliciting games from publishers, not knowing the quality of those games and giving them away. I'm going to be shouldering the cost for it because I want to make sure the people who support me get really awesome games. So we'll do that. I think we'll alternate between everyone who supports the Patreon gets an equal chance at it. And then some kind of weighted thing where people who are supporting more financially will have a better shot at, at winning the prize. We'll alternate between those two, I think. But that'll unlock a, a giveaway every quarter. At $200 a month, if we can get up that high, it would be amazing. That would allow me to get a bigger purchase. The two things I'm looking at in terms of that would either be a dedicated laptop for the Thoughtful Gamer. Right now, I'm using my wife's laptop, which is kind of half broken. It's like crumbling apart and it works and the internal parts are good, but it's like five years old and I would like to have my own laptop for the Thoughtful Gamer just to have something that's mine and more reliable and something I can take to cons and such and do more stuff there. However, I'm also considering a better camera, especially if I intend to do more live streams might be the better thing. One of those two things would be something I would purchase at the $200 a month level. The unlock for you guys there would be a silly Patreon exclusive stream. Uh, if you've been listening to the Thoughtful Gamer podcast, you know that I despise the game Bananagrams. I think we'll do a silly stream where at least you'll get to see me suffer through one or more games of Bananagrams. We'll make it a really fun time. The third goal is $500 a month. And that will allow me to, at the very least, attend Essen every year, which is something I think would be really fun and exciting. And probably one other major con. At that point, I think, at least for like, for the first time, I'll be definitely making money on the Thoughtful Gamer. So that will open up not only a lot of personal relief in terms of, okay, this can actually move into something big for me. It will allow me to be more financially flexible with, you know, if I feel like I really need something or I can buy this piece of equipment and really improve the Thoughtful Gamer, I won't have to really push or do a big marketing effort like this. That will unlock a lot of flexibility for me. For you guys, it will unlock monthly giveaways. So we'll do the same thing, just switch it from quarterly to monthly, where I'll be giving away awesome games, again, hand-selected games that uh, I think are amazing. That's a lot. I'm going to write out all this information in a post, but I also wanted to let people who, you know, maybe I assume there are some of you who primarily only listen to the podcast and aren't reading the Thoughtful Gamer. So I want to make sure you guys get all the information. That's what I've got. So those are the changes that are going to be made. Again, I really appreciate anyone who supports the Thoughtful Gamer. It's, it's amazing. It, it helps me feel like what I'm doing is valuable to people. I want it to be valuable to people. I, I started this trying to do the kind of content and I hate that word, but trying to do the kind of content in the board game space that I wanted to see. And when you do that, you don't know if that sentiment is shared with other people. So I know it's shared with some people. 
I want to see if there are more people who really enjoy The Thoughtful Gamer. If you cannot support financially, that's fine. I'm not trying to get everyone who listens to the podcast or goes to The Thoughtful Gamer to support financially. If you can retweet or, you know, whatever it's called on sharing, sharing on Facebook or tell someone about The Thoughtful Gamer or say, hey, I really like this article or appreciated you. That feels wonderful. Those kinds of little gestures are awesome. I hope this wasn't too much information. Again, it's all going to be written out. And I hope if you are able to contribute financially, that you'll find that it's a valuable thing for you, that you can help us out, but also get some really cool rewards from it. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back with another main podcast next week. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.